Welcome to this week's Drawn to the Word Artist Sketchbook. And today we are going to uh, do some painting. But we're going to look first at this passage that comes from the book of Proverbs. And the book of Proverbs, it's chapter 1, verse 7. This is really a key verse that sets the stage for the whole book of Proverbs. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, and fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Well, I read that and I wonder, what does it mean to fear God? What is the fear of the Lord? And as we read more around that, it, uh, the Bible gives us some insight into what is the fear of the Lord. Um, so we're seeking to gain some kind of wisdom and knowledge. And I am going to paint in these distant hills back here. To begin with, we'll use kind of a strong blue color. See how I mix that up here? And as I'm mixing that, I'm thinking about how is it that I can paint so that light will show up strongly. Well, in order to paint light, I have to paint dark. When we think of knowledge and wisdom, sometimes that's depicted as mountains or hills. And here we have some hills in the distance. Uh, and I am going to also depict this. Can you see what this is? back up here just a bit. See if you can see what we have here. Add a little bit of green, yellowish green to this landscape like that and also some over here like this and that should be starting to look like a road that goes back into the distance and you see that beautiful bright sky and light in here it's beginning to show I have a little sketch here I see my paint has gone up a little higher than I wanted it to <clears throat> for my sketch but let's see what we can do here um, sometimes knowledge and wisdom is shown as a tree, a beautiful, strong tree. And we'll just make a big tree standing here by itself. Make it even, even larger. And the shadow underneath that tree. So we have a tree This road leading back into the distance. Let's see if we can put some kind of a center suggestion to the road here. Some additional lines in there like that. And there it is. Now hear that verse from Proverbs again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. So as we seek to fear God in a way that is awesome and reverent, not as though we are scared as, as if God is going to hurt us or punish us. That's not the kind of fear that we learn about in terms of fearing God when we look to Jesus. But when we look to Jesus, we see a fear of sorts that shows us how real and how close and near God is to us, how close God is to you. And as we seek to follow this path or this call that God has given to us, sometimes that road is very narrow. And sometimes the world will even shame us for following or call us weak for following Jesus. But that uh, shaming or that weakness that others would claim towards you is a sign of the foolishness of the world. 
and the foolishness of those who despise wisdom and instruction that comes from God. But yet we stand in what might appear to be weak in this world, for the strength and the power of God comes to you even when, and especially in the moments when you feel weak. For you see, it's not about how gung-ho or how strong you feel about your faith or how weak <clears throat> or vulnerable you feel about your faith. Those things about your faith, that doesn't matter. And we see that in the disciples because sometimes they were very strong and bold and other times they were very weak and they withdrew and they, they, they hid their faith. It didn't matter because Jesus was still with them and showed up to them even after he was raised from the dead. <clears throat> so what does the fear of the Lord look like in terms of your life? Your life, that is. How about in your workplace, or in your play, or sports, or your education, or degrees, or credentials? How are you using those credentials? Are you using them in ways that Jesus has shown us to use those things to serve others? to give yourself away to others in service, even if it means appearing weak to the world? How about to your neighbors or strangers or enemies? Jesus says, pray for your enemies, and those who persecute you. How often do we do that? How about in your home or your family or even in your church? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. So we look to Jesus. We look to Jesus for this knowledge, the beginning of knowledge. And if you're looking for something to read, the beginning to, to further this knowledge and this wisdom, maybe you want to start with the book of Matthew or the book of Mark in the Gospels and just read one or two verses a day. Maybe have it sitting out and every morning or every evening before you go to bed. Just read a verse and pray that God would show you something of wisdom and of knowledge that comes in your reading each day. For that's his promise, that he will. God's peace be with you.